Just before the play clock ran out and off the field he walks. You've got to think one last time. Josh Norman very openly talked about his admiration. It was his, his favorite team growing up was the Colts. His favorite player was Bob Sanders. His second favorite player was Peyton. Well, you know, you talk about Pete Manning. Let me just say this. We did ask him about well, how do you want to be remembered, and I thought his answer, of course, was just perfect. He goes, I want to be remembered as being a good teammate, respected by all the coaches and my peers. His football home, and he gets doused here. He's going to become the first, again, to ever win the Super Bowl as a head coach for the same team he played for. Just think about it. Two years ago, he's fired yep. by the Houston Texans. I like what he said. He goes, he told us something on Wednesday when we were watching practice and doing everything. He goes, life in the NFL. They run it down in one second. The first to ever get to 200 wins. Some of the records. And now two-time Super Bowl champion. A final star turn it is for Peyton. And the Denver Broncos have taken Super Bowl 50. Welcome the MVP of Super Bowl 32, Terrell Davis, and the Vince Lombardi Trophy. The MVP of Super Bowl 3, Joe Namath. Super Bowl 10, Len Swan. Thank you, Thank Lynn, you Lynn Swan. Swan. Commissioner, it's time to present the Lombardi Trophy to the Bolin family. Annabelle is here. And I think we're going to pass it on down over here to Joe Ellis. Joe, why don't you put your hands on the Lombardi Trophy as the CEO of this Broncos organization. Annabelle, I know you want to 
accept it with these words. Go ahead, Roger has passed this trophy. Over. Well, before we do, let me just thank all the Bronco fans and tonight, Peyton. Peyton, I don't know if this is your last rodeo, but it was one heck of a ride, and we all thank you for the ride. So thank you. Annabelle, I know this is a special moment for you, and we're all thinking about Pat, a great man, a man who led this organization, and we're proud you could take this back to Denver for Pat Bowlin and for your Denver Bronco fans, your Super Bowl champs. Congratulations. Annabelle, the mic is yours. If Pat was here today, he would say he is very proud of his team and the best fans in the NFL. <laughs> On behalf of the Bolin family, congratulations to the Denver Broncos for the third time Broncos country you are Super Bowl champions Big John why don't you put your hands on that trophy I know you've had it in your hands before but this one for constructing this team what does this one mean to you well, and I, I'm going to say this, and he would not want me to say this, but this one's for Pat! Why don't you hand it off here, number seven, to your great friend Gary Kubiak. How do you describe this moment and what this team and this defense did tonight? Oh, this team's been special all year long, Jim. And, you know, this football game is exactly the way we want all year long. You know, we just kept battling. We grinded. We called ourselves the grinders, and we grinded one more time to a championship. Congratulations. The first in the history of the game to win a Super Bowl as a head coach for the same team he played for. That's you. Congratulations. Thank you, Jim. And the MVP of Super Bowl 50 is Vaughn Miller. Vaughn, this was the fascinating matchup with you and Cam, the first two draft picks back in 2011. And all night long, this Denver defense was on him, making life very difficult. How about this run by this Denver defense all season, in particular tonight against the highest scoring team in the league? I'm so proud of my guys. It's, it's been every last one of the guys in the locker room that has got me to this moment right here. Could have gave up on me, but he kept pushing, kept being the type of guys that they aren't like. You know, I'm very, very appreciative of them. Happy for Clady, happy for Ryan, happy for the old line. I'm happy for Bronco Nation. We're going to celebrate this one all summer. Congratulations, Vaughn. What a couple of games you put together here in the last two weeks, too. Bob Miller, the MVP. And ladies and gentlemen, let's bring in number 18, Peyton Manning, and let him hold that trophy. Well, the word was last night when you spoke to the team, at the end it got difficult to get the words out. Can you share with us what you said? Well, it's certainly been an emotional week for everybody, Jim. And, and last night was a uh, special time. Just the players and the coaches were in there together. And we just kind of reflected on what all we've been through this season. And this has been a tough, resilient, unselfish bunch of guys. And, and that was evident tonight in this game. And I've just been honored and grateful to have been a part of it. So I was just thanking them for letting me be a part of the journey. You know, not everyone here inside the stadium heard what you said to Tracy Wolfson. So if you'd share it one more time, the commissioner made reference to perhaps this is your last rodeo. Is this it? Will you ever step foot on the field again tonight, or do you walk off with the fairy tale ending, holding this in your hands? Well, Jim, um, 
I got some good advice from uh, Tony Dungy, who's going into the Hall of Fame and my old coach, and he said, don't make an emotional decision. This has been a very emotional week, an emotional night, and I got a couple of priorities in order. I want to want to go kiss my wife, kiss my kids. I want to go celebrate with my family and teammates. And I'm going to drink a lot of beer tonight, Jim. Budweiser, Von Miller's buying, and uh, those are my priorities at this point. I'll take some time to reflect on the other, but um, I'm going to say a prayer and a thank you to the man upstairs for this opportunity for sure as well. Well, listen, there's only one thing that can be sweeter to have in your hands than that trophy, and that's your two children right here who are reaching up and wanting to grab hold of it and share it with their daddy. Congratulations, Peyton. Jim, thank you very much. Go Broncos! And we're going to send it back to James Brown. Congratulations to the champions of the world, the Denver Broncos.